Why would you put that? Is that even true? Is that even real? It has to be real. Because if it don't, you're going to be considered a fraud. What up, love ones? What it do? Spot Young right here. You know where I'm from. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to this channel right here, you should just subscribe button real quick. Give it a like if you think it's cool, if you think it's real, you know what I mean? Trip game, man. On this episode right now, I'm big chilling in Okada, Manila. With my girl, man. You know what I mean? Just, you know, enjoying life, enjoying freedom and shit. But I got a little few things uh, I want to address on the comment section. And, uh, you know what I mean? To alleviate a uh, misconception about what the channel is about, what I'm doing and stuff like that. And at the same time, talk a little bit about my tattoos and shit in prison, why I got it, what does it mean, you know? So, yeah. So, anywho, let's go all the way back, man. Uh, like I said before, to, to, to those that are new, man, I've been busted since I was 15 years old. 15 years old. I got charged as an adult. I got sentenced to 14 years and two strikes. I ended up doing 13 years. And, uh, a lot of people, the, they, they want to talk about, hey, who the fuck is this guy, man? Why should we believe his word? Why does he even count this shit, you know? Uh, let me tell you something. Let me ask you a question, just to make it, uh, <laughs> make it more understandable to those, to those uh, people that who loves to judge, loves to assume, and loves to talk about and speak on something they know absolutely nothing about, you know? Uh, how about this? If you get into a, if you get into a, get, get put into a position where, you know, you want to get, you get put into a position where you can just drop all your homies, throw them under the bus when shit gets real, uh, would you, would, would you, would you do that? You know, for example, you're out there in the streets wilding out, and then the police tell you, look man, all you got to do is snitch on all your homies. You don't have to do time. You don't have to do. Uh, you don't gotta get all that police record. You just gotta. You just you come off clean and shit, man. What would you do? Would you tell them, uh, "Fuck all my homies. I wanna go home." Or if you're fucking mouth shot and do your time, what would you do, man? So that's the difference between you and I. Cause uh, what what I would do is, fuck, man. I fucking went all the way, dog. Instead of uh, snitching on my homies like what Snitch9 did, I did my time, man. I did my fucking time, dog. 13 years, man, like this. I didn't tell my homies. I took the fucking blame. And I did my time. Uh, people would say, Are you stupid, dog? You're fucking stupid. You shouldn't just fucking uh, be smart and, 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 and snitch on all your homies. That's what you would do. That's the difference between you and I, dog. You know what I mean? Because. If you really look at it, you started this gangbang and shit, right? You said you was a gangster, right? You said you was a gang member, right? And then when shit gets real, you wanna fucking throw all your homies under the bus, dog. So what does that tell you? What does it tell you about the character, dog? You don't care about your character? You don't care about your honor, dog? That's your shit. You know what I mean? But uh, let's fucking push forward. Let's push forward. Because some people, they, they, they get the hint of what I'm trying to say, and some people don't, dog. Not everybody's the same. Every individual has their own uh, option of, 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 of what they want to do. You know, some people they party until they get drunk till the next morning, and some people and they fucking party down till they become a fucking felon and shit, man. So yeah, uh, let's talk about the tattoos now, man. I think you guys get the picture now. So I'm big chilling here with my girl. And uh, let's talk about the tattoos. Let's talk about from the last one that I ever got. Last one I ever got was this tattoo right here. Yeah. You see it? <laughs> it's a fucking tattoo of a smiling face and shit, man. And why did I get it? Because uh, I got it with my, with my girl. It's a matching tattoo. Look what she got. Right, right? It's crazy, right? Yes. Yeah. Did you see this emoji right here? Yes. Because of this guy, I got my first tattoo. <laughs> yeah, and because of this girl, 
I got my first unorthodox tattoo. Something that's completely out of my comfort, man. You know, because if you go way back, dog, uh, let's go back to CYA. In CYA, like I said before, man, everybody talks a good one. Everybody talks shit about the enemies. When they get here, I'm gonna smash them. But some, but most of the time, though, most of the time, when they do get there, what they end up saying is, oh, no, 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 that's not my fucking, uh, we're not, we're not really beefing like that. It's like my hood and this hood, it's like whatever and shit, dog. But if you got a tattoo that has your enemy's hood wiped out in YA, you have to mandatory rush that guy or else he will rush you. That's the rules. That's CYA rules, man. And, uh, it's a very disrespectful tattoo. It's called the Eye Crackers. That's what I had. That, that's what I had, man. That was my mindset when I was 16 years old, back in 2004, dog. And I still got them to this day. Do I plan on getting them uh, covered up and everything and all get, get everything fixed? Yeah, I do. I got it covered up. I just, I just had to prioritize it. But I will show you guys, man. So here it is. It's an eye cracker tattoo. Basically. <clears throat> I got six of my enemies that uh, 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 crossed out of my shit. Hold on, my bad. I got, uh, you can't really see it because it's a very old tattoo, 2004 when I was 16 years old. I got MS, ABZ, AKP, TGP, SDS, PR. And then you got the cave. That means killer. That's a very disrespectful fucking uh, 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 word. And I got the 818. And two and three on my fucking little ankle and shit, man. That was that, that was that was my mindset before, dog. So imagine that. You know what I mean? Imagine that's fucking retarded mindset, dog. That gang banging mindset and shit. And guess what happens when I you know what I mean when I did that? That's what got me caught up in the first place, man. That's what got me got me caught fucking uh, 14 years in two strikes. And little did I know. So when I ended up in the motherfucking pen, uh, I have to choose between my peoples, man. Do I choose my people, the Pinoy, the Filipino, or should I choose fucking gang banging, my hood, or my bio? Which one comes first, dog? It's up to you, you gotta make that choice. I chose my people. I chose Pinoy, I chose Pinoy pride. Basically, Filipinos run with the Asian on their car. Also known as what they call on TV the fucking other car and shit, dog. What people say, what the people know about. It's just our numbers are very short compared to the rest of the prison gang and the California prison system, dog. So, yeah. So I started doing my time. I started doing my time, and uh, I went all the way, dog. Uh, all the phase that I had to catch, I'm taking them. I'm turning nothing down. Uh, I risked my life, I risked everything, dog, perhaps it was my younger years, or my, what people call it, uh, a, a, a younger, fucking young, dumb, and full of cum years and shit, dog, but I did it, and I know what I was doing, and I was ready to, to die for it, and I did, and I'm proud to say that, I went all the way and shit, dog, for the Pinoy, for the Filipino, and that's what I did, so, fast forward later on, like, I want to show you guys what I got tattooed on. One of the first tattoo I got was this outline right here, made in Philippines. Why would you put that? Is that even true? Is that even real? It has to be real. Because if you don't, you're going to be considered a fraud like that one bitch motherfucker in YouTube that everybody knows about, the popular one. And it's not a good look, dog. It's true, I'm, I was born in the Philippines, I'm made in the Philippines, so I have the right to put it on. Otherwise, the Pinoys and the rest of the Asians are not gonna allow me to put it on. And I got the big Philippine eagle right here on my chest. You can't really see it up close. There you go. And uh, Philippine eagle is our national uh, bird. It's the biggest bird in the whole world. You guys check it out, man. And. Uh, a lot of shit, dog. I pretty much got a lot of things covered up. But at the beginning of my years doing time, my mindset was still of a little kid. 16 years old, 18 years old. So the tattoos that I have is all gang bang shit. Like for example, the fucking West Side. I have a W right here. 
and the S right here for West Side, because uh, my hood, my barrio is in the West LA, West Side of uh, uh, Los Angeles, California, and you know what I mean. Pretty much, like uh, 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 most of my shit are I got from the homies that I, I ended up selling up with, and some of the homies that was looking out. In my head, I got my head blasted too, because in the pin I was bald. Can't have no fucking hair. Because in the pin, if you do got a hair, man, and you get into some shit, like I said, your enemy's gonna use it against you. They're gonna end up fucking uh, pulling your hair if they lose it, man. Worst comes to worst. They're gonna pull your hair, they're gonna try to poke your eye, and they're gonna do whatever to survive. Imagine you and your Sally in the cell trying to kill each other. So think about uh, what you're gonna do. And uh, a lot of things, man. Uh, in the pin, I had, uh, I had the sun. I'm supposed to get my whole back blasted, but. What ended up happening was, uh, old boy didn't finish, a lot of shit happened, I ended up going to the hole. But I got it, I, I got it done right here, as you can see. It's the sun right here, and the three stars. It's supposed to be a collage, I'm gonna supposed to be finished the whole fucking uh, back right there. And then I got my legs, tatted too. Oh, this is the cover up right here of a Pinoy. But, right here on my thighs, if you look closely, it says, Puro laki sa layo, Jeff Prox, walang atras ang gang. That was my hood, that's in Tagalog, that's Filipino. And then, uh, on the other side, on my leg, I had JFX. You know, I didn't really, I didn't really prioritize it when I got out, man. I didn't really prioritize on, on doing them and having them fixed because I was too busy working in the corporate world, like I said, man. And nobody even really cares about fucking shit like this in the real world, dog. You know, all they care about is fucking... Just trying to get money, man. Just for trying to live life, trying to feed their family. If you do got a family. So, you know what I mean? Um, in my head, I remember in my head, I got a Pinoy right here. And in my forehead. If you can see on my IG, you can see it clearly when I'm bald. The Pinoy, Pinoy means Filipino, man. Um, the P has a son at the background of the, uh, of the P. And then at the, at the end of the Y, he has the three stars. That's uh, part of our Philippine flag and shit. That's what I did. Because a lot of people, they got Pinoy, but they don't have like little something, something about it. Something that makes it different, you know. And then I got the LA. I got the LA right here on my west side. On the, the west side of my head to represent uh, from the west side. From my gang during that time, that was my mentality. And then I got the J in the back of my head. You can't really see it because I got hair. I don't know if you can see it, man. J stands for Jeff Rocks. That was the hood that was originally jumped in before I, I, before I went to, uh, I did my time, before I got incarcerated and shit. And uh, pretty much that's about it. I mean, I, I, I had a dragon right here in my fucking leg right here, but the loud homie was doing it. But he didn't get to finish though. Because uh, something happened, you know. But as far as, you know, tattoos, it doesn't really even fucking matter, dog, you know? What matters is, it's real. Because you can have some fucking tattoos on yourself and pretend it's real and lie to the whole, lie to the whole world it's real. Lie that, it's, that, that, that you said you earned it. And nobody's gonna fucking, uh, everybody's, just gonna, everybody's just gonna believe you. Like, fuck it, you got it, it must be real, you know what I mean? But like I said in the very beginning, man, you can't lie to yourself. Only you would know if you're real and your tattoo is real. If you're a real person or not, so that's all that matters and shit, man. Uh, like I said, man, uh, there's a huge difference between man's eyes doing the righteous thing in man's eyes and doing the righteous thing, the right thing, the just thing in God's eyes, dog. There's a huge difference, man. I'm going to get into that some other time, man. Right now, I appreciate everybody watching and uh, we're going to continue this chillaxing here with my girl, man. Thank you for showing your beautiful face right here. And give me a kiss before I get back. Anywho, say what you mean and mean what you say. Because it's real. Because we recognize real. I'm out of here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Nika.